Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, I got to say, there's a lot of stuff going on this week. The State of the Union address, the Super Bowl is tomorrow. But honestly, for a lot of Seattleites, the biggest story by far is that the doghouse is closing down. Oh. I know, no. I know, we're serious. I just cannot get used to the idea I'm never going to be opening this menu again. And I'm honestly, I'm, I'm very sorry. I got to tell you that when I was 10 years old, I used to take the bus downtown to race slot cars at Bob Hale's Hobby Shop, you know, with my friends. And the doghouse was seriously the only place that made us feel at home. And I remember there was a cologne machine in the men's room that a lot of you guys here might remember that dispensed Old Spice and High Karate and JDs and all that stuff. And when you'd go into the bathroom, you'd put a dime in that and just sort of wait for your friend to get in front of it and then, boom, hit the plunger. A lot of people remember that, just Old Spice in the face, which was really fun. Also, there was a condom machine in that, and every boy in Seattle knew about that machine. Am I right, men? Yeah. Yes. Every boy remembers that because every boy in Seattle bought a condom from that machine when they were 12. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. You know. And, uh, you know, some other members of the staff had some memories of, uh, of the doghouse, too. So we just went down the street with a camera and documented those memories. And we want you to take a look at this now. For many years, I had to direct the St. Mark's Cathedral live broadcast on Christmas Eve. And I would always come to the doghouse for dinner. And it didn't matter. No matter how grumpy or pissed off I was, I always felt good coming here because the waitresses were always grumpier about having to work Christmas Eve than I was, so it made me feel kind of good. I, I guess my favorite memory has got to be, it was uh, oh, a few years ago during the fifth race, I put down about a hundred bucks on this three-year-old <laughs> and it won. So, so that's probably my, my favorite memory, I think. Hmm? I'm going to miss the fact that you could walk into the doghouse, have an entire meal, smoke half a pack of cigarettes without even lighting up. I'm going to miss that nervous, excited, that roller coaster in your stomach feeling that you'd get as your 70-year-old waitress would struggle to put a scalding hot cup of coffee in front of you. Oh, when I was just a kid, my parents used to bring me downtown and uh, yeah, I'd sit on Santa's knee right there in the big window and yeah, I'll, I'll never forget those times. <laughs> what? When I was like 10 years old, my buddies and I used to come down here to, we'd take the bus down here to play pinball and uh, We'd be there just playing the pinball machines, and you'd just hear this singing coming from the bar, which sounded a lot like, and just like that. And, and we would always just sort of look back there and wonder what, what's going on in the bar. And we just couldn't wait until we turned 21 so we could get in on that, whatever, whatever that was. The, the doghouse. Doghouse. It's, it's not ringing a bell. Sorry.